friends, my name is Jake. Welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge. We've got a package from Nebraska again for my friend Dave. Thank you very much, Dave. There are, I don't know, three, four folding knives in here. I forget exactly which ones are in here. But there's some Sen Cut in here, my very first from that manufacturer. So uh, you will have seen that on the thumbnail when you opened it up as well. I like to show which brands I'm going to be uh, unboxing. And uh, we're going to take a good look and see what we got. I will, you know, give you my first impressions of them as well. And then at a future date, I will do the review. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to notify. So you'll be notified of my videos when they come out and uh, you'll be able to see the full reviews. If you want to support the channel, you can click the join button that's right beside the subscribe button. Or you can go to patreon.com slash cce and help us out. The uh, privileges that you get if you support the channel are you get the first uh, chance at any knife sales that I do. And I sell the vast majority of the knives that I review to raise funds to buy more knives to review. So uh, I give my supporters first 48 hours access to all those sales. And one of my supporters wins a knife every single month through a random drop, they get to pick the knife that they're going to get. I think that's pretty good. And uh, that's enough preamble. Let's get to the tabletop and see what we got. Okay, here's the package. And I'm going to use this. It comes in two sizes. This is the Sandrin Mu 7411-TZ. And on the unboxing of this knife, a viewer posted a question if I was planning on doing a review of this because he'd like to see the full review of it, including a teardown. And if you're new to my channel, yes, I do full reviews, including teardowns, including precision measuring of everything. A lot of times manufacturers and definitely knife stores often have wrong measurements and sometimes wrong information even. So yeah, I do, I double check all my work and I do high res still images of close ups and stuff. I, I will do a full video of this knife. And let's just use it to open this box. This package is up. Let's cut around the middle section here. Let's see what we got. Down for you. Down for. Not gonna work. I've done this. Okay, let's uh, get through the saran wrap. Or cling wrap. Whatever you want to call it. Shrink wrap. Well, it's not really shrink wrap, is it? <laughs> there's a no. There's a lot of knives in here. Okay. There's three knives by Sen Cut. There is a Free Tiger, and there's two by QSP. All right, let's close this up here and move these to the side. We're gonna start with Free Tiger. This is, you know, there's no model number or anything on the box. Oh, there's also some other stuff. I ordered a pocket clip on AliExpress. And, ah, that's a part for a knife from a, uh, from a knife that I bought at, at uh, Drop, formerly called Mass Drop, when they still had knives. I had a warranty issue, and yeah, that worked just fine. So that's in there. Free Tiger, it's a bag. It's a whole lot cheaper than Ganzo's bags, but it's a bag. And let's see, anything else in here? Just some Free Tiger paraphernalia. Let's open this up. I forget what model this is, but it's a front flipper, micarta with carbon fiber inlay. There is a lanyard pin back here. Quite nice. Yeah, that opened up quite nice. This is the FT2102 or 2102 to be more accurate. D2 steel. I think that's a bead blast finish just on first blush. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what it is. 
lockup is pretty good. Yep. Yeah, it's a little hard to get in there to release the lock. Alignment's very good. I think it comes in three colors. Quite light. Fairly smooth jimping, not not crisp uh, jimping. It's not super engaging, but it's okay. Blue anodized uh, screws, pivot and body screw at the back. Small back spacer with that uh, lanyard pin right there. So we'll put that up here in the corner and I'll clean up this stuff. This one is the Scepter SA03F. SA03F, yep. Okay, let's open it up. Close up the box. Oh, I should have left that right in the center of the camera so you could center the uh, field of view so you could look at it. Deep carry clip, flush screws, and the clip is very deep carry. It's a green micarta on this guy, lanyard hole back here, flipper, and thumb studs. Let's try the flipper. There you go. A little closer to the camera. A nice stone wash, a gray stone wash. Drop point with a swedge. It's a little bit small for a front choil, at least for my fingers. But it looks like that's what they're trying to do with that because they chamfered it and everything for a decent grip. For a small knife, that's actually not bad. I might just make it just a tiny bit bigger if I was keeping it. I don't know yet if I'm going to keep it. Feels quite thin behind the grind. Branding on the bevel. And uh, again, it's, it's easier to get at the lock release because it's a little bit proud and there's some chipping on there. Well, better than this knife for getting at that lock release. Yeah, thumb stud deployment works just fine. Yep. And let's see if I can do the, the studs underneath. Yep, that works fine too. There are torque screws on either side. I don't know what that means, if this is a free spinning pivot or not. I've not watched other Sun Cut reviews. I don't watch other knife reviewers, generally speaking the odd time I do, because I don't want to be influenced by what they say and what they think. I want to make my own opinions from scratch. This guy is the Snap SA05D uh, with a wood, Colbarita wood, I think it says there. So let's take a look at this. I like that silica, and there we go. So yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice grain on that wood. Feels quite nice. The same pocket clip. Oh, not quite. It's a little bit longer of a pocket clip. It's a little bit longer of a knife. And it's just a flipper on this one. The same gray stone wash. High flat grind, straight clip point. Jimping's quite engaging, I like that. And right there on that flipper, it says 9C or 18 MOV. I didn't double check what this one was, yeah. It says 9C or 18 on the steel 
on the ricasso right there. I like that. I like that they put it right there nice and small. And I like that this time the branding is up here on the flat. I wish that branding was also on that flat. They would have had to make the logo just a little bit smaller, but I don't like branding on the bevel itself. Open pillar construction with a lanyard pin back here. Nice skeletonizing, a lot of skeletonizing on there. Reasonable access to the lock release. Very good action. There you go. Yeah, she wants to be closed. Nice chamfer on that all the way around the handle. That wood is just, I like it. Beautiful. It's a beautiful piece of wood on both sides. Fairly close grain. Smooth. Nice. I like that. Quite a lot. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's definitely a bigger knife. So we got those. This send cut is the, uh, it says a send cut episode. It's the SA04A in Burgundy. There we go. Uh, Burgundy G10, I think. There it is. And a black wash. Again, it's just a flipper. I like thumb stud knives, but just flippers are fine too. Big arch on the back there. Yeah, that G10 feels oily. Lanyard pin again. So all lanyard hole. Pin here, pin here. But this is a hidden pin. This is an exposed pin. There's the flipper. And I think that's the same pocket clip, just in black. Yep. So they got at least two different sizes of pocket clip. Let's see the action. Oh, nice. Just a gentle push on it. Alignment's good. Sort of a harpoon style blade here. A lot of skeletonizing there too. I like these. I like these quite a lot. Yeah. And right there it says 9C or 18 MOV on the Ricasso again. Quite thin behind the grind. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that one's actually very thinner. So those four knives. We've got QSP for the last two. Uh, which one is this? There we go. This is the Leopard. 14C28N blade and linen micarta QS135B. There's the QSP uh, label or card with the measurements and everything on the knife. Let's take that out. Okay, I like the uh, form-fitted box that QSP does. That keeps everything really nice during shipping. And we've got the pocket clip is right side only, which is normal for QSP. I really wish they'd do more left-friendly stuff. Lanyard hole backspacer in that same micarta and that's a yeah that's a nice deep gray color I like that quite a lot flush screws we, these guys got flush screws like Civivi does uh, these guys these guys have flush screws too this free tiger knife wow the industry is catching on the industry is you know, getting better all the time. Open front. I'm not that fond of these open front, that open front style. I don't like it because it seems to me that dirt and grime can get in there much easier. Let's take a look at the blade. A nice drop point blade. Very stabby knife. 
and the jimping up here for a forward grip. QSP does that on a number of their knives. I'm not that fond of it, even though I really am a big fan of QSP. I'm just not that fond of that flipper. You know, when it's closed. I wish I wish it came back the same way in line with the uh, handle here. That would be more comfortable. But then we wouldn't have a flipper to grab, would we? Full flat grind, and we've got a vertical sanding lines on it instead of you know horizontal ones. 14C28N up there on the flat, and QSP's logo on the flat Ricasso. I like that. I like that quite a lot. Very light. There is skeletonizing on there. Quite nice. Finally, this guy. A pull-out box. This is a little bit higher end of a knife by QSP. And nice big chunky zipper there. I like that. This is the Pelican. The QSP Pelican. We've got microfiber cloth. Whoops, fingers are... And the inside's got a separate pocket. And this is also micarta. A very coarse micarta. Titanium pocket clip. A nice Warncliffe blade here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Nice and small logo right there. And on this side, S35VN. These two knives, these two QSP knives, were sent to me by QSP. So thank you very much, QSP. They gave me the freedom to say anything and everything I want to. And by the time I do this review, you know, it'll get the same kind of review that I always do. Sometimes I even forget by the time I do the review that, you know, a knife was given to me by a manufacturer. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Quite nice. Feels great. Blade centering's great. I like that look. That looks really nice, that micarta. And it's very grippy. You can feel the texture of that coarse fabric. Yeah. Yep, this is the thickest behind the grind of all these knives. It's also the, well, yeah. It's the same length blade as those send cuts, or at least cutting edge. Nice skeletonizing, lots of skeletonizing on there. So, there we go. Let's put this on the corner there. There we go, it's on the screen. If you're on the market for one of these knives, you know, I'll have links down below for where you can get them. Um, the send cut knives I got on Amazon.com. Com, the Free Tiger, I think White Mountain Knives has this now. I think when I bought this, uh, it was only at AliExpress. The QSP knives, I'm convinced, I'm sure White Mountain Knives has these, but uh, I'll try to leave other links for it as well. Quite nice. I'm very happy. And this knife... I also got it White Mountain Knives, and uh, there's a Big Brother version of this knife as well, if you like larger size knives. I'm just a big fan of every size knife, and I've got a pretty good collection of small knives. And I've reviewed more San Remo knives than anything else, and almost all of them were in this 7000 series, which means that the handle, the blade, is around 7 centimeters. That's what the 7000 series means. If you're in the market for 
any of these knives or any knives at all, check out my links. I've got a load of links down below every video. Like these ones from Amazon, I've got a whole series of uh, knives, uh, fixed blades, folding knives that I recommend from Amazon and uh, Amazon referral links. If you use Amazon, consider using one of my links to open up Amazon when you go shopping, even if you're not shopping for knives, that does help out my channel because if you open up Amazon using my link, I get a tiny referral fee from everything that you buy. It's a great way to support the channel. All of those, not, not all of those Amazon referral links are for products that are still available. I've been making those links for about five years and so some of those might point to knives that are out of stock or maybe even not available anymore. So there might be dead links in there, but I do have like a hundred folding knives on Amazon that uh, are linked there and you know a bunch of fixed blades and fixed blade kitchen knives as well. And from AliExpress, I've got referral links as well, just about everywhere. It, it's a great way that you can support the channel without it costing you anything extra at all. So there you go. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, friends, cut towards your chum, not your thumb.